Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to work on creating a custom background in Toonly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. We're working in Toonly today, which is made by the same folks who made Doodly. While Toonly has a variety of background images to choose from, you may want to use your own image from time to time. For example, maybe you want your Toonly characters to stand in front of your office building, or a cartoon image of a setting that Toonly just simply doesn't offer. Today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to use a custom background image in Toonly. You'll see here that this little chemistry schoolroom background is something that I found and uploaded on my own. I have a couple other examples here. I just have just a kind of a cartoony background kind of like the old Bugs Bunny ones. And then I have a theater stage background where I'm going to tell you just how easy it is. You know, first all we need to do is find the background, we need to upload the background, and then we add the background. Really, that's all there is to it. So, first of all, we need to find a suitable background to use. Now, if I were an artist or illustrator, yes, for sure, I would definitely create my own custom backgrounds. But unfortunately, I don't have that talent, so I have to rely on a site like freepick.com or pixabay.com or any of those other ones that are out there. Now, freepick has a free account that you can use. You would need to use attribution if you have the free account. I do have the premium account, so I don't need to do that. Now, you'll see I've already entered cartoon background in the search bar, and there's tons and tons and tons of options that you could use. And, you know, this is kind of fun if you just need some inspiration. You Maybe you're like, oh yeah, I want a rainbow in the background. Never thought of that. Or I want a forest. Or I want a little park here. I want my characters to be playing outside. <laughs> Here's my little chemistry lab. So, yes, just typing in cartoon background is a great way to get some ideas. Well, what if you have something in mind? You can get more specific, of course. So like if I was doing a school, there's my chemistry lab. This would be kind of fun as just a kind of generic background. I can get buildings and what have you. Today, let's focus on finding a cityscape. So now I'm going to type in cartoon background city. And there's all kinds of backgrounds that we can use. Just depends on the aesthetic that you're looking for. Now I do want to note that you don't necessarily want to choose backgrounds that have images that might typically move. For example, this one with the airplane and the cars. You know, it's going to look weird with everything else is animated, but then this airplane is just stuck forever in position. Same with the birds, and the hot air balloons, and whatnot. I like this New York City panorama, so I'm going to go ahead and download it. Now that we have our background, let's go ahead and create a new video. Click Create New Video. Let's give it a name. We'll just call it New York. And how do we want to get this background in? We have two choices. We could do it as an object and animate it however we'd like, which is an option. Or we could just go straight to backgrounds and upload it this way. I am going to do this. So let's go to downloads, zip. Drag and drop it into place, upload. Okay, here it is, right here at the top. And boom, I now have a background of my own that I can use just how I would use any other background. So, you know, maybe I do want an airplane to fly through the scene. So I would just go ahead and type in airplane. So here's a cute little airplane that we can use. And I'm gonna give you a little bonus lesson. Let's zoom out so we can go off screen a little bit here. I'm gonna position my airplane down here. We're gonna pretend it's taking off, okay? So he's gonna be down here. And I'm gonna tell Junli that this is my ending position by clicking on this little keyframe right here, this little circle. And then I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna go over to the beginning in a moment. I'm gonna reposition it, position it off screen like that, and tell Toonly that's my beginning 
So now if we watch this scene from start to finish, our little airplane is going to just fly away. And then of course you can build the scene however you'd like. Another option is to import your background as an object and we'll do that as well. Let's get another scene real quick. Let's take this future city. We'll start with a new scene here. Now I want to go to objects and I want to upload the object. Let's go ahead and add it just like we did before. Okay, pay attention how it's named because when you upload objects, they don't really show up in recent like it did in the background. So 2722. I could, have, I could have renamed it to something more descriptive if I had thought about it. And here it is. Let's go ahead and place it in our scene. Now this is an awfully large image, so let's go ahead and zoom out. And we can't really see our canvas area, so let's go to backgrounds and let's just take a blank, you know, kind of a solid background, which we have right here, place that in our scene. And so now, okay, see how much larger my image is than my actual canvas? So I'm going to resize it. But what this does, since it's so big, is it gives us some options. We can do a camera movement without actually using the camera movement tool by um, doing keyframes. So what I'd like is maybe to have it pan in. So let's see. It's going to be kind of a subtle movement. So I want it to start like this, and then I want it to end over here like that. So let's click on our keyframe at the beginning and set it. So this is, should be our beginning position. And then let's move this over just a little bit. We don't want to go too far. And let's set that as our ending. And let's go back in to 100%. Let's make it a little bit longer. And let's see what this will look like. So it's white and it's going to bounce on, which I don't really like. And then we've got our camera movement. And that's, that's fine. Camera movement's okay. But I don't like all that bouncing and that white showing. So what do we do? Well, we click on it. We click on settings. Let's turn the bounce to instant into instant and now we can delete our background if we'd like and then let's move this so that it starts at the beginning and this should be our scene so a little bit of a camera movement i think it's backwards to what i want but that's fine you can always go in and fine tune your keyframes and whatnot then of course you could add a little rocket ship or a little space person or whatever it is that suits your scene. And there you have it, a couple ways that you can create your own custom background in Toonly. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thanks for watching.